cycling to me can be a spiritual experience. I first learned to bike when I was younger and then, um, you know, through the process of life, I stopped riding. 49 or 50, I decided I wanted to or take care of my health and then I started doing triathlons but then found out that biking was my most enjoyable part of the sport and I was stronger at biking. <laughs> Every day, someone would ask me, what happened to your car? Do you need a ride? And so it left me thinking, why are people asking me if I need a ride? And one of my friends said, it's because you're black. And it made me pull back and think that people were seeing that I was using a bike as a necessity more than just a choice for mode of transportation. Cycling is um, it's a, a large sport, but then women in general, um, there are not that many women in cycling, and then minorities are African American women, the numbers are even smaller. So Black Girls Do Bike is important to me because it helps me introduce my passion, our love of cycling to other women, but specifically um, black women that look like me. I said, just go online and look at Black Girls Do Bike. It's an organization, it's a nationwide organization. We don't have a chapter here. Just look at it, see what you think. And 48 hours later, she calls me and says, okay, chapter is set up. We've got a Facebook page. We've got 24 people on the Facebook page, and we've got a banner on the way. And I thought, you know, sometimes you fall into these things where you ask people to do stuff, and you get exactly the right person to do it. I've learned that um, I am a powerful leader. A lot of times as women, we shy away from leadership roles, um, but I've learned that, um, you know, through bicycling and my love for bicycling, um, I, I really am a strong leader. But, you know, when you're out and the wind's blowing in your hair and you have, you know, a challenge of, you know, just you and your bike, and it's just awesome.